So today I want to talk to you about the fuel system that I run in my big horsepower twin turbo Hellcat. How much horsepower? Big. Over 1100. Let's just say that, okay? Capable of over 1100. And this car has been over 1100 horsepower on the dyno that's located here, which is a dyno jet. All right, so the question that I get a lot of the times is, Stefan, I'm doing an E85 build on my Hellcat, but most of the time they're talking about a stock blower car, stock motor. If this is you, you're looking to make about 900 wheel horsepower, you're gonna do an upper, a lower, injectors, and part of those injectors, you're gonna need a fuel system. So the fuel system that I've always run, I've changed a couple times, but it's always been a dual pump for me. It was a dual pump when I was 900, and it's been a dual pump over 1100 wheel horsepower. So most of the time the dual pumps are rated to a thousand, including the one that I'm holding in front of me right now, which is the Steve White dual pump fuel system. What's special about this fuel system is, so this is two Hellcat pumps basically together. So instead of a single, you get two. They do flow very, very well. And the benefit to running a dual pump system over obviously a single pump is you can flow more fuel, which allows you to run the E85 because E85 burns a lot, lot, faster. By running this dual pump system, it's, it actually allows you the opportunity to do so. The thing is, these systems typically are supposed to max out around a thousand. Now, I had a dual, a different dual pump system before this one. Before this one, I had the Livinois dual fuel pump system that came with the four hat. So it had the four system along with the Hellcat pumps, and that system lasted me pretty good. It worked well. A lot of people use that. That's equivalent to like the HHP uh, and all of them. The biggest difference though between those dual pump systems and the dual pump system that I run is the fact that the one that I use here still works within the factory basket. And why is the factory fuel basket so important? It's important because without a basket, these pumps just sit in a fuel tank. And when the fuel sloshes away, it can starve the pump. So for an example, right here in front of you, I was about to race this big horsepower, uh, fully built all wheel drive, sequential trans, build motor Civic, big turbo, all that good stuff. And when we were about to take off, I took off and immediately my car bucked. And I was like, what the hell was that? Well, I looked at my gas gauge and I had under a half a tank of gas. It wasn't even that much under though. It was like maybe a little bit under half a tank, but I hit it so hard that the fuel sloshed away from the pumps and it starved the pumps and caused me, could have potentially caused me to blow my motor. That could happen if you run out of fuel because you run lean too quick. Thankfully I didn't. Went back around, added more fuel, raced that Civic, lost because that stupid fast and I was only making about 900 at that time, maybe around 940. But that being said, I learned quickly that I could not run below a half a tank on E85 and try to race. With the dual pump system with a basket, I noticed I can go down to a quarter tank. So I can race all the way down to a quarter tank along with this basket that keeps it flowing. Another thing that I noticed is when I went to a twin turbo system, Everyone told me that I was gonna need a four triple pump if I wanted to be able to run E85 with these twin turbos and make over a thousand. Well, I was able to make 11, over 1100 wheel on this dyno that's right here using this same dual pump system along with ID 1300 injectors and some good tuning. I was able to get it done. Thanks to drag on tuning for that one in Diablo Sport. But that being said, it uses the same fuel filters, everything, it just goes on the back of my pump here, sits in the basket and it works. One thing that I did notice though, over time, I started to get a little bit of degradation of the pump, started to use up a little bit more D cycle over time. And what that tells me is one, that my fuel filters, when I pulled them out, they were filthy, they were dirty. Right, so more than likely, I might have just been able to change these fuel filters and kept it pushing. However, I am going to be the test subject 
for Steve White developing an upgrade now to their dual pump system, which I have in a box right here. Guys, you got the perfect opportunity in life. Opportunities in life don't always come up like this, where you could win this Dodge Charger RT wide body, custom purple color, custom white stripes, custom interior, everything done in best part of all, free and clear, you get the keys and the title. All you gotta do is visit montafame.com. Every $5 spent gets you an entry to win. So you buy a hoodie like this, that's a lot of entries. But visit montafame.com. Don't miss out on your chance to win. This thing is absolutely bananas, but we actually call it Big Perp. So make sure you enter the win Big Perp right now on montafame.com. So the upgrade to their dual pump system that I'm pulling out of the box right now. Could we just take a, a pause for the cause and recognize the billet goodness? Look at this, look at this. Look at this billet goodness, guys. Look at this billet goodness that this is. It's pretty, man. Absolutely pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Great craftsmanship. Now, it is not different than the fuel pump system that I already had. That is already there. The only thing that is different is, if you look at the, the, the base, right? Base for base, the new pumps flow even more. The new setup is supposed to flow even more. These are what are called 295 pumps. The pumps that I had before were 285. So, theoretically, what we are hoping for and what we're gonna be testing after we install these pumps is to see how far past 1100 now I can push on E85 with a dual pump system without having to go to a four triple. I'll be honest with you guys, majority of you that are watching this just need a fuel system that can handle a upper lower E85. For that, they have about seven of these left, I think, before they move to the new system that they're gonna be doing on a deal. Get this one because you're gonna be more than fine with that. I flowed that one no problem, 1100 was about the max. 20 pounds of boost, really. It was the max for me on that pump. Now moving over to this new, with the new 295 pumps, we'll see, we'll see. Will we be able to flow 1200 horsepower? I don't know, 1250? I don't know, 1300? I don't know. That being said, my Turbos are capable of it. My motor is supposed to be rated to, again, Steve White just seems to rate things low. I got my 426 bottom end from him. He rated that one at 1100, and I know I've been over 1100 a bunch of times. So we're gonna see. We're gonna test the limit of these 295 pumps. We're gonna keep pushing boost until we start to see fuel drop. If we don't see fuel drop, we're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna start out where these ones left off at 20 pounds and see if it flows 20 pounds easily. Then we're gonna move up to maybe 21, 22, 23, 24. And we're gonna run it on the dyno to test it and stress these pumps. That being said, I cannot say enough about the benefit of running the Steve White dual pump system with a basket. Bruh, I can't go, I, I wouldn't do nothing else if I was you. And I sure as hell can't see myself upgrading to a four triple now because a four triple has the same issue. It's not in the basket. So if you get fuel slush, you could starve the pumps. Anyway, to get prepped for that process, I'm gonna go over to the car right now. There's a little bit of 93 still left in it. Also, I noticed that there's a little bit of dirt in the bottom of the tank, um, probably from me filling with gas cans all the time. Uh, so we're gonna clean that up and then we're gonna go ahead and drop the, the new pump in. Unfortunately, until I get my new trans in, we won't be able to test it, so it will not be in this video, but just know I'm gonna test the hell out of this new fuel system. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is go inside the car, go in the back, because that's where the fuel tank is, and I'm gonna show you what I mean when I say there's dirt in the fuel tank and what we're gonna be cleaning out right now super important we're gonna start over we're gonna start over fresh but I don't know if you guys could see can you see like little dirt particles in there 
yeah not good so we're gonna clean that out so that we start fresh i don't want to put in fresh fuel pumps in loose dirt but this is why they say don't run your car low um because your fuel pumps are going to try to suck that up your fuel filters are going to get dirty fast so that's why you shouldn't run your car out of gas but let's go ahead and clean that out and just like that boys look at us look at that look at that look at that pretty nice and clean clean as a whistle looking brand new in there yes sir yes sir clean as a whistle in there now boy that's what i needed I, I wanted it to be if i'm gonna put and change parts in a fuel system then i need it to be as clean as possible boys all right so now we are ready to throw in a new fuel system um, I got the old one right there. I got to transfer over the floater. Pretty much that's it. Once we transfer over the floater, we can go ahead and throw the new fuel system in. Done, done. All right, boys. So here we are. Here we are back in the back of the car right now. Uh, I'm about to load in the new fuel system. That's about to go in right now. So we're going to load everything up, hook it all up, and then we're going to load in some E85 and just uh, make sure everything is good, that everything works, that it's running. We'll cycle the pump to listen to it, start up, make sure the pumps are running. Just all the things that you gotta do, you know? Oh, you put the floater on after? That's the only way, the safest way to get it in and out. Smart, smart. Uh, so I took it out, so I put it back in the same way. Smart. In terms of space, I'm not working on anything. See, the thing, though, this one has a bigger bracket. What was that? This one has a bigger bracket. What do you mean? So you see this little bracket here? On yeah. The other one is, is six in more. The bracket fit differently? Yeah, it's more sticking out. It's, all, it's a quick fix. It looks like it's adjustable. Like you could push it in though. Like you could unscrew it and then push it in. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm going to take it off. And um, put it in with the... the, the yeah, button. sir. Like I said, guys, remember, the biggest benefit to this system is that it still uses the factory basket. So it's always fuel surrounding the pumps, which is super awesome. Something you definitely want. But we'll let him do his thing. Um, he has to make some adjustments to the bracket. We'll get that all in there and I'll come back and see you guys in a second once it's in. I tell you boys, things are really coming along nicely. I had a small leak on this valve cover right here coming out of the back. We couldn't find where oil was coming from. It was very small, very slight, but we took care of it. So. Uh, change the valve cover gasket in this one. So now we're gonna be all good Last thing you want is when you're making this much power and stuff to have any leaks or anything like that So that's a beautiful thing and now that's taken care of Yeah, also it's pretty cool because we got a chance to look at um, When we did that we also got a chance to look at all the plugs We got a chance to look at the valve train assembly and see how everything was just pretty and nice in there Super clean. So the car is running absolutely awesome and your boy sing got it done pump is in there guys and that's how the pump sits in there the pump just sits in there just like that hook it up to the connectors close it up put the the locking ring back on and we are done we are good to go pump is in just like that yo listen pump e85 in the winter time it's supposed to be like low, like most uh, companies miss it. But do you guys see that line of separation? I don't know if you can see that. You see that line of separation right there? Hold on, there we go. You see the line? It's right at E80. And it's a little short up top, so that might be E81. To have E81 at the pump in the winter time, yo, this gas station is the truth. They are so consistent with their ethanol. There's been times I've gone there and the ethanol content was E87. You have to literally buy like race gas E85 to get those type of numbers in that level of consistency. Um, if you want to know what that is, hey, Power in East Orange, New Jersey is the name of the gas station. Power, East Orange, New Jersey, always have great ethanol. Sketchy looking place, great ethanol. But uh, we're going to load that in now. Now that we know it's all good, we're going to load it in. And uh, he's closing up the fuel system now. All right, boys. So. We're gonna leave Singh to get this all sorted out, man. He's gonna go ahead and pull the pumps and uh, we're gonna test the connection 
with the pumps. You see the wires there? We're gonna test the wiring with a voltage tester to make sure that we hooked it up correctly. And then um, that should be it. We'll drop it back in. In the next video that you're gonna see regarding the fuel system, we're, we are going to be loading it on the dyno. We're gonna be loading it on the dyno over here and running it and seeing how much horsepower we're going to generate uh, with these fuel pumps on E85. That is the goal, that is the test. As of right now, we ran this GTR on the dyno today, and just today, just during some early testing, we uh, were already at 1169 is where we're starting. We're starting at 1169 on this GTR. Um, by the end of the day, this car should be 13, definitely strong into the 1300s, and then potentially by the end of the week, maybe even 1400 horsepower is where we should be. Now, my Hellcat, is it on that level? No, but when we look at it later in this video, or when we see in the next video, when we throw it on the dyno, you guys are gonna find out what this thing is really made of. Anyway, if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos. And listen, guys, seriously, there are only 12 days left to win Big perk. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss your shot. Win that car for the for something like you know what I mean. For something like this, little gap in season shirt, you can win a whole car. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Much love, and until the next one, we out. We out. <laughs>